the only way to heal a community is to heal people one at a time. John Haven started the Seattle Day Nursery in 1909. In 1977, Pat Gogarty, a survivor of abuse himself, brought to the organization a therapeutic care child care program that operates the work of the agency today. Today, Child Haven serves about 400 children while also helping to stabilize and strengthen families each and every day. This isn't just a daycare center. This isn't just a place for children to come and play. When I was younger, Child Haven was my family. My father was out of the home and my mother was an addict and she didn't know how to, how to raise four kids so we all came um, into the foster care system and that was when I, I got to come to Child Haven. I got to actually have a childhood and learn how to ride a bike and how to play and be with other kids and not be so scared all the time. We really work to help kids develop that capacity to uh, love and be loved and that's what a lot of the children who come here don't have. That's what it did for me for sure. I got, I got to be able to have a childhood. Children can um, come to Child Haven with a variety of issues. Uh, they come from environments largely where they've been abused or neglected or at risk for abuse or neglect. Child Haven is looked at as a very cost-effective organization, one that is serving a unique population with a unique program. It's kind of amazing, really. We go out every morning and pick all the kids up. Our teachers are the drivers and the assistants on the van, and it, um, it creates kind of this sense of community or village. And this allows us to um, see the home where the children are. Then they'll have a structured program day that will provide for all their needs developmentally, emotionally, wide range of activities, as well as any therapy needs. What they experience here, they take with them, and I think that that is so important. I've seen the impact that Child Haven has had. As I go down to the facility and I see the volunteers and the full-time staff uh, interact with the kids. Oh, yeah. I've seen lives change. One child in particular was particularly abused um, and neglected in his infancy. He came to the program very withdrawn, not speaking, didn't really know how to play. I was so proud of him when he finally learned to say no and let his feelings be known. Child Haven kids are like, you know, I don't like that you did that, but I'll still be your friend. I still like you. Don't do that again. I had one child who came to us when he was four, and he had had um, a very serious history of abuse. I think he was in seven foster homes in one year. When he came, he was so angry. And to see him become um, quite a lot more trusting, I would say, uh, was pretty amazing. And he's had a great year in kindergarten. We don't just address the child's needs on site. We're also addressing the family's needs. My children mean the world to me, and even more so because I had lost them. My, my biological children were placed into foster care due to my addiction <clears throat> and unhealthy lifestyle. They were in multiple homes, some of which were abusive. And so by the time I had received my children back, they had, you know, a lot of things that they had been through. You know, it was just too overwhelming. And I was just so relieved to have Child Haven. They embraced every part of us. Many of our parents really never receive the kind of um, respect and honoring that we're able to give them. I really felt yes. that when they walked in the door, they were coming not only for our children, but they were coming for us as well. Setting up families um, so they can be successful. People of Child Haven are committed to their mission and they truly have a heart. What Child Haven is committed to is really supporting a healthy community. I firmly believe the kids who come here are going to have a better life. You look into that young person's eyes and you say, here's an organization that is serving 
really a very noble purpose for our community and is making a difference in young people's lives that will last uh, throughout their lifetime. Our, our daughter, she, we ask her what she wants to be. She wants to be a teacher at Child Haven. <laughs> she doesn't want to just be a teacher. She, she wants said, to be, be a teacher at Child Haven. Yes. Child Haven is important to the community because they save kids' lives every single day. It's beautiful to see. Child Haven is always in my heart. <laughs>